WordPress is a very, very powerful tool for building websites and for using as a content management system. But what it's not good at is for creating triggers based on how your users are using your website. Let's say someone comes on your website, they try to purchase a product, but they don't follow through. You need to be able to follow up with an email, and this is also known as cart abandonment. Or let's say someone chooses a membership level on your website, you may need to send a welcome email or even add a tag to their name. So all these things WordPress cannot do on its own. And this is why I'm talking about WordPress automation using Uncanny Automator. So without wasting a lot of time, oh, in fact, before I forget, I have a link to Uncanny Automator in the video description below. I'd appreciate it if you use that, if you feel that this is a tool for you. So without wasting a lot of time, let's take a look at Uncanny Automator. Okay, so right now I'm on my WordPress website. So what I'm going to do here is to show you how to install it first. So to install it, you wanna come over here to plugins, click on add new, search for Uncanny Automator, and here it is. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded it and installed it onto my website. So you can see here it is active. Now let's take a look and see what the interface looks like. It's a very simple interface. So once you install it, you get this entry here called Automator. Okay, so what it has are the recipes. So the recipes are the actual triggers and actions that you create. And I will go into depth and show you how this works. So you can click here on add new and uh, this now gives you a new interface. Now this interface here is very interesting because right now it's only showing us WordPress. Now in a moment, I'm going to show you how you can integrate this with other tools that make these automations easier. Okay, so here we only have WordPress and we also have more actions here. So you can add a new one by clicking here on add new. You can categorize them. You can also set them as tags and it also shows you the logs. Uh, so every time something happens on your website, it has a log of all these triggers and all these actions and automations, which is very, very good. You also have a page where you can uh, see all your information. So let's say something went wrong, you can always go in and debug. And then finally here on the settings. So the settings tab is for entering your license key. And then finally here we have the tools. Now this pretty much just tells you uh, how your so this pretty much just tells you what is running on your server, just in case any anyone in support wants to help you with this information. Now, what you may also have noticed is when I come back over here to my settings, we only have an integration here for Twitter, but with the pro version, you have way more integrations here. So back over here now on my recipes. Now, when I take a look at this page, like I said, if I click here on edit, uh, we only have WordPress and Automator. Now, let me go in and show you how you can add even more plugins and these will be automatically added on here in the integration. So what I'm going to do now is to come over here to all plugins and you can see here I have quite a lot of plugins. So all I have to do now is to just activate them. Hit apply. Okay, so now that all my plugins are activated, I also have the pro version. So I have Uncanny Automator Pro, which has all the extra features. And I will be explaining in a moment uh, why these extra features are very, very important and also how they give us even more functionality. Okay, so back over here now, I am now going to come back to Automator and click on all recipes. Now let's go to our draft recipe here. Now the recipe is the actual automation. So back over here now you can see that we have all these now here on our system. So this is pretty exciting. And so for some of you that watch my uh, videos on my channel, you know I've been uh, talking great about Presto Player. Let me give you a quick example and show you how Presto Player integrates with this and how you can create and automation. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first of all click here on Presto so we can see what is happening. So here we have a user completes a video. So we can decide what should happen when a user completes a video. So let's go ahead and activate this. Now also, over here, you can see now the ones that are named Pro are the ones that won't work with the free version. That's, so that's just, that is why I highly recommend the Pro version because it has all the features. Okay, so I'm going to say when a user completes a video, I'm going to save that. And then, then, now this is where the action comes in. So if I click here, 
there's so many actions that I can add here. So I can say, okay, maybe I may want to send an email so I can come over here to Fluent CRM. So I can say, okay, add a tag to the user, add a user to the list, remove tags and so on. So if I have a tag, I can come over here and search for my tag. So let's go ahead and say adds tag to user. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to choose my tag. So I have a tag that I created called potential customer. And then I'm going to hit save. So what I can do now with this situation is say, let's say this video here is a sales video. So we could assume that chances are they might want to buy our product. So what we can do now is let's call this potential customer. Now, if you want as well, we can redirect them to a specific page on our site, but we're not going to do that. So now I can just change this from draft to live. And then all I have to do now is to pretty much, you know, save this. Now, if we need to duplicate it, you can come over here and duplicate this recipe, which is pretty cool. Okay, so how does this work? So we've added a tag called potential customer. So this is where now we can go to Fluent CRM. So I'm going to come over here to automations. And here on automations, I'm going to create a new automation and I'm going to call this potential customer. And then I'm going to choose CRM. So tag applied, I'm going to come over here and say when this tag is applied, this is going to be the trigger for my automation. So over here now on select tags, I'm going to choose my tag called potential customer. And then I am going to save settings. So now we can go ahead and add our email automation. So now we can start our automation funnel. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and I'm going to go to uh, custom email and then I can give them an offer here. So you can just add your email title and you can also add your description here. So let's say this, that's my description. Uh, that's my title for that person that has finished watching the video. So once you're done with that, you can just hit save settings and you can continue adding all these other things. So we can wait a couple of days, perhaps send a different email and so on. So if you want to remove the tag at some point, you can remove the tag. And this is how you would make this automation work. So as you can see, your website now is going to be working as a machine. And this is exactly what you want. You want your website to work without you putting a lot of effort on the actual website for these automations to happen. Okay, now let's take a look at the integrations that come with Uncanny Automator. So for the integrations, I'm going to come over here to the site and you can see we have Affiliate WP, we also have Badge OS, we have uh, Elementor, we also have Fluent CRM. There's a lot of integrations you can see here. We have Learn Dash, Learn Press, Lifter LMS. <laughs> you know what? This is absolutely amazing. So as you can see here, there's a lot that we can integrate with. There's also WooCommerce. In fact, WooCommerce is one of my favorite because so let's say you use WooCommerce and CartFlows, all your funnels here can be also uh, automated and you can also set up all your triggers. Okay, so as you can see, as I continue here, we also have Zapier, we have Zoom. So it's very, 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 very powerful. So back over here on our site, let's take a look at another automation that we can do. So I'm going to come back and click on all recipes or you can just click here on add new. So let's go ahead and add new. So this time I want this to be for logged in users. So I'm going to click here on logged in, confirm. Okay, so there's, like I said, there's a lot of options here. So if we go to Automator itself, you can say when a user clicks a magic button or a magic link, this is a specific link that you can set up on your site, then this is going to trigger an action. Okay, so that's one way you can do this. Now, if you want to delete it, you can just come over here and delete it to start all over again. Now, over here for member press, if I click on member press, I can choose even more automations here. So I can say when someone use, uh, when a user purchases a one-time subscription product, what happens next? So I want to go with when someone cancels a specific product. Okay, now this is very important because if you have, let's say, someone on your site and the person asks for a refund and they had access to a specific course or a subscription, then of course you want to automate that process and get rid of the access they have for that course and maybe perhaps give them access to a free membership. So as you can see, this is very powerful and this is why I'm really excited about this. So let's go back over here. So let's say a user... A user's membership to a specific product is cancelled. So that's what I want here. So that's going to be my main trigger here. I'm going to save that. 
And then over here, I'm going to add my action. And for my action, I'm going to say, okay, over here on member press, I want to add them to a membership level. But this membership level is going to be the free membership level. So this will have less courses or less information as compared to the paid. Okay, so I'm going to scroll all the way down here. So for the text rate, I'm going to set this to zero. And then I'm going to save this. Now, what you could also do is you can redirect them to a specific page. So if I come over here, I can then redirect them to a specific page and say, hey, you know what? Since you've canceled your subscription, now this is what you have access to. So you can have a specific page that talks about that. So as you can see, there is a lot of power with this tool. And I highly recommend this if you're running an online business or if you're running a small business website, there are so many things that you can automate and all these things are going to be working in the background. Now, right now, the tools that I'm showing on this example are the ones that I've installed, but there's a ton of integrations that you can use here and there's no specific way of setting up all your automations. And I wanna show you something also very interesting. So when we set up our automations, it's not just one automation, there's certain actions that you can add one on top of another. Let me show you how. So over here, uh, let's remove the redirect. So let's say I want to add another action. So I can come over here and say, okay, uh, I want to add a tag when someone cancels their subscription. So I can come over here to Fluent CRM and then I can say add tag to the user and the tag here could be potential customer. But of course I'm using potential customer because that's the tag that I have uh, created. But if you want, you can create new tags. And for this one here, you could be um, a canceled member, for example. And that canceled member tag can trigger an automation funnel in Fluent CRM. Boom. As you can see, this is real power. And I highly recommend that you use Uncanny Automator for your automations. Now, as I mentioned before, I have a link in the video description below. I'll be doing more tutorials where I'll be covering different scenarios on how you can use this for a small business or even how you can use this as an online course creator and so many other examples. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you soon.